Prados and Giselle. Hi. Hi. Hello. What a wonderful couple you are. Oh, thank you very much. I think uh, uh, beauty comes from our hearts and uh, that makes us uh, to be involved in a situation here in Los Angeles trying to create dreams because cinema is only a dream. Okay, and uh, this is the first step in order to go into the dream, our heart. That's uh, that what, and so I'm trying now to explain in English. It's a little bit difficult for me, <laughs> so you have to be patient with me. It also requires a huge sense of humor, which we both have, so we're never taking anything seriously and we laugh all day long. That's the key to success. Yeah, <laughs> I came here because I didn't know Los Angeles, and uh, in Greece I'm doing a, a small career of 25 years in the theater, cinema, television. I came here for one reason, love, and uh, love uh, not only Giselle? Giselle is the door mm -hmm. to a different world of heart, of uh, being yourself. I met Giselle uh, in Athens in order uh, uh, to be to participate, let's say, in one of her dreams, Amazon. Amazon, the the, uh, the female wisdom and uh, the female power, photograph. Under the water. I'm an underwater portrait and photographer on yes. a side note. So, <laughs> and uh, I, I participated in the, in her dream, in her job uh, as Hercules. So this was the first step in order to realize what does it mean to be Greek, because when you are in Greece, you are used to your environment, and uh, sometimes you don't appreciate a lot of things. Through her eyes, through her heart, I re-appreciated and re loved Greece. So I came here in order to finish this project and uh, after a while I said this country gives you the push and the opportunity not to make your to make it uh, to be a star but to discover the star inside you through discipline, through work, through serious people that they are involved. That's why I started going to a school uh, starting from the scratch despite the fact that I had played so many years but the thing of it, all this, is Giselle, my son Alkibiades, and I think some projects that uh, I have already started to create, like script writing and... Uh. I moved here about 10 years ago, and um, I was supposed, I moved here to work at the John Paul Getty Museum. And I literally just, you know, came for one year, and then 10 years later, here I am still. And the wonderful thing about Los Angeles is that you wake up every morning and you say to yourself, there's a good energy in the air. Something good is going to happen. And so the American dream, whether real or not, it all depends on you. There is a sense of positivity here, a sense of light. The weather, of course, helps. Um, but at the same time, I'm still here. I believe many things have happened. I've met wonderful people. <laughs> both look like you're fulfilling your dreams because you're glowing and you're beautiful according to what you said. Yeah, We're pretty I good. Th yeah, I think um, uh, every person in the world has to, to make true his or her dreams because life is not real. No, no matter what, it's not real what we see. More real, uh, reality exists in our hearts, in our dreams, in our minds, in our bodies, and uh, whoever can participate into a dream, even if you are a creator or the participant, a viewer, it's the same thing, because us in the cinema, let's say, or in photography, uh, we can be creators, but at the same time, without people wanting to see our creations, we cannot exist. Do you find the industry here much different than the Greek film industry? And do you think, you said yourself, uh, that it's more serious here? I think uh, we have great uh, uh, creators, directors like uh, such as Michael Kakoyanis or Theo, Theo Angelopoulos, Gilles Dessen. A lot of huge artists lived in Greece and I had the opportunity and the huge blessing to meet them and work with them. My first film was with uh, Padelis Vulgar, the striker with number nine. Second, immediately, uh, film was the Landscape in the Mist with Theo Angelopoulos and I continued with all these directors, Zilda Sen, in The Earth of the Salesman, I played uh, with uh, uh, under his direction or Eva Bergman, or huge. In a nutshell, Stratos is an amazing muse, I would say. But I don't want to speak about myself mm -hmm. because it's a little bit egoistical. I would like to tell you this, that um, you can be 
creator, real creator, with your heart, with your guts, everywhere in the world. Here yeah. gives you the opportunity, the other people don't be envious or jealous, like sometimes in small countries, not only in Greece, but in every small country, no, no profit in his country. So uh, there are a lot of difficulties, like money, like uh, the obvious things here, cannot exist in this country. So you can come here and you can co-create with other nationalities because uh, Los Angeles is not American. Everybody from all over the world. This mixture of cultures, of philosophies, working is amazing and this era that we are going through, uh, it's about cooperation about all the countries all over the world. It's a global thing. Global sure. thing and... Uh, and you feel it here. Yeah. There's an international market. Exactly. It's a melting pot. That's why we like So it's it. not by being here to be a star, no. but to discover the real star inside you that this is your heart and the creation is up to you. Yes. How long have you been here? Uh, seven months. No, nine months. Nine, nine months. months. <laughs> Sorry, we're bad for Leo's. We don't know about time, but it's been almost a year. Let's put it that way. Yes. Uh, I read somewhere that you are going back to Greece for the yeah. summer for theatrical play. I have um, no. We have to finish her um, the third part of her trilogy, and I would like her to speak about that. Yes. And uh, I have a TV serial to do some uh, TV serial in Greece. In Greece, but uh, also uh, I have uh, also two movies uh, in English. And uh, I here in Los Angeles or in Greece? One is total in Greece with Bruno Coppola, uh, the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola, and uh, a movie about uh, the Greek borders and uh, Bulgaria. It's amazing. Amazing with uh, huge stars. I hope they will be, they will participate in it, and they have very good role. And the second, uh, it's a film about here, a Greek person living here, and uh, it has a lot of scenes in Athens and here. So I will go with the director there to see the locations, to do repairs as French people used to say, and we have a lot of work to do. And a lot of traveling in the future. Yeah. Back and forth. But we travel all the time. We love it. And, you know, the first year that we met, we probably went to about eight different countries. We love it. <laughs> Any plans for the future for you two as a couple? As a couple, we have first to finish her trilogy, <laughs> Under the Water. It's the female power and the female wisdom. And it's better you will speak about that if you want. Well, actually, what's exciting, I'm doing a trilogy on femme fatales, Amazonian women, and um, goddesses. So it's all informed by Greek mythology, going back to the multidimensionalities of women, you know, going back to mythology because mythology is very modern. And in this two dimensional society, sometimes we forget. So that's what I'm doing, and uh, Stratos is part of it too. He's my first male protagonist. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he's also my Hercules. In terms of plans for the two of us, you know, we live day by day. We're very, very happy, and, you know, we keep the rest to ourselves. <laughs> Great. I think only women can save this world because the male thoughts can create only war. Sometimes we, we, the men, we have to discover our female side and only women can teach us Now you this. see why I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done him good, you know. He was good. like this before I met him. I didn't make anything. Eh? I was <laughs> like this. I didn't make you. <laughs> no. We wish you best of luck Thank with you. everything, you your career, your life. You're an amazing couple. Thank and you so much. see you soon again here in Los Angeles.